What's up, baby? What's up, guys? Sitting here at my desk, wrapping up the rest of this uh, six-week challenge that I got coming out, guys. It's going to be a six-week boot camp. So this is going to actually get you guys, you know, a little bit of recognition with your boy Stacks, because in the marketplace, I'll get to learn a little bit more about each and every one of y'all. And at the same time, you'll be communicating with me directly. Also, I'm giving you guys a lot of stuff that I'm not telling people on YouTube. You know what I mean? Because I just don't think about it just throughout my more normal day in the life, right? But I am thinking about it as I'm putting together this nutrition plan and the workouts. And I'm trying to make this thing A1 for you guys, man. So that way we can get some results, man. My main thing is to get people results. If it was money, then I'd be charging $199 per person, $200 per person. What are people charging? $4,000, $5,000? I'm charging you $30, guys. $30. You know what I'm saying? That's $5 a week for six weeks. Isn't that crazy? $30. It's insane. But anyways, I'm just trying to help you guys get some results, see how easy it is if you just follow a plan. And a lot of you guys want to work with me. So that's what I'm doing. I'm letting you guys work with me personally. We're going to have a marketplace we can all talk on and, you know, collab and, you know, share our advice with each other. And I can talk to you guys, giving you guys discount codes on the supplements. Uh, I'm going to be doing a lot on here for you guys, man, and it's only going to get bigger. I'm pretty much going to turn this into my tryouts to see who is going to be part of the army, man. Who's going to be part of the army? Who's going to be an ambassador? Because I don't want just tons of ambassadors out there and people, you know, who don't get results and aren't representing the brand properly, right? We want people that can follow through, right? I'm about consistency and discipline. So I want to make sure that the army that I got watching my back is about consistency and discipline, just like your boy Stacks. So I'm putting all this together for you guys. You're going to love it. Make sure you sign up, guys. It's only going to be sign-ups for one month, 30 days to sign up. So in May, this thing's kicking off. Sign up now, guys. The link is going to be in the description. You do not want to miss out. And I advise you guys to also buy the nutrition guide. It's 30 bucks. For so much information about nutrition and, and food and calorie counting and all these different things that for 30 bucks. And if you plan on changing your life, not just doing a six-week challenge, right, or a six-week boot camp, you want to use this to get as a footprint in the beginning for you to get yourself right. This is going to change your whole life, not just the six weeks. It's going to change your whole life. This is just the beginning steps, to you guys getting your feet wet, because I know a lot of you guys don't know what you're doing, man. A lot of y'all don't got $4,000. A lot of y'all don't got $200, but I know you guys got $30. So that's why I'm putting this thing together. It's going to be a lot of us, guys, and uh, we're going to see who really makes it. We're going to see who really steps up their game, takes the before and afters, and really gets results. And I'm excited, man. There's going to be a first place, second place, and third place winner. So... You better bring your A game, guys. I'm going to get finished up on these uh, programs and, you know, finishing up the workouts and stuff. So you guys can have this uh, by the time you're watching this video, man. I can't wait for you guys to join me, man. Let's go. How you what up, man? Good, man. Good. How are you? Yeah. Got it for you. Yep. My brother right there, take your camera. Appreciate you. Good work. My man. It's a beautiful day. That better not be the guy I'm hiring right there. You see that guy over there? There he is. That better not be the guy I'm hiring. Look at him. All leaning back. He got his belly all out and shit. Doesn't He's fired me. already. That's him. What's wrong with having the belly out? Nah. What you mean? Where fucking work? <laughs> you ain't allowed to be out of work with your belly out unless you're at the beach, fool. <laughs> I see y'all getting all your phones on uh, TikTok. Hey. <laughs> Let's <Yep>. go. <laughs> I'm about to try flipping somebody right now. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, oh, dog? How you doing, bro? I'm doing good, man. I see y'all TikTok yeah. all the time, Enjoy brother. You, man. Chris, nice to meet you. Take care, you man. You local or what? What's that? You local? Where you got? Yeah, I'm from San Antonio, bro. Oh, okay. I'm working, bro. I'm here getting 
Green Post. No, nice. Yeah, nice. hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just got a guy that films me all day, man. What's up, Gabriel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How you doing, yeah, brother? Nice you. to meet you, my man. Good. That's awesome, yeah, man. That's funny. Yeah, we don't even post on TikTok. People. Huh? We don't even post on TikTok. I don't even, yeah, I don't post on TikTok. So that's somebody else taking my YouTubes, uh -huh. chopping them up, and kind of making themselves go viral off my Oh, uh, yeah. But yeah. it's all good. I ain't tripping. I mean, yeah, yeah. I tell people, you either going to love me or you're going to hate me, dude. Like, it's all respect for me. Like, Respect for respect. Yeah, 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 if I yeah. show up to buy material, you work to load up material, yeah. you're gonna load my fucking material. Yeah. Especially if it's 28 fucking bags. I'm not gonna do it five times. Nah. You gonna at least do it once, I'll do it the rest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this fucking, told, this dude told my foreman, uh, we're busy right now, load it up yourself. So I'm driving and uh -huh. he calls me, he's like, yeah man, the dude told me load it up myself. I'm like, what? Uh, yeah, see, yeah. I go to Home Depot now, and right when I walk up in there, people are like, Shh. Yeah, mother, you better drop what you're doing. Yeah, they're like, you're getting shit organized. They don't know what yeah, to do, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? But it's just a respect factor. Like, bro, you're telling me you're too busy. I don't see not one fucking contractor here. Mm -hmm. You're over in the back with your fucking apron on, sitting in the back, probably stuffing your fucking face. You don't want to come out here? I said, I'm going to get on that forklift. Really, I'm not. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, it's, yeah. you know, yeah, the yeah, fear yeah. of Joey's going to get on the yeah, forklift. Yeah, we yeah, can't yeah. let him. Yeah, if he yeah. does, we'll get fired. Yep, yep. And my dad's been using that trick for years. Yeah. I'm going to get on that mud. So I just took it from what my dad does. Yeah, yeah, now yeah. Now I do it, and I do it a little bit better. There you and go, I do there it you go, brother. Too. Me and my guys, we hand pick every two by four, every four by four. Yeah, when it comes Make to that sure stuff, you're still absolutely wet. right. When it's drywall and stuff like that, I'm like, nah, y'all load it up before I get here of so course. I can tell you, and then you can load it up in my truck so I can get on down the road. That's There's the convenience. There's been times where I've been like, you know what? Bring a whole pallet out here. You want to give me the shit? I'll throw all the shit off on the ground. I'm going to start grabbing all the fresh Good. stuff yeah, out of the middle. Yeah. Boom, yep. and I'll be like, all right, y'all pick this shit up. <laughs> I'm out of here. Yeah, and I try, to be as, to do. I try to be as cool as I can to people, you know what I mean? But they should know their job, right? Yeah. It's to restack materials and help people load up and For sure, you know bro. all this stuff. The lumber guys, don't make me come here and tell you your job description, bro. Cause yeah, yeah. It, then it just, I tell them it just makes my blood boil when you already know what you're supposed to do. I know what I'm supposed to do. You know what you're supposed to do. Let's just do that. Yeah. And that way everybody gets along. You know what exactly. I'm saying? Exactly. Like, you're in customer service. So yep. load that shit up. Let's, let's go. Good. Let's go, man. Hey, Chris, good, 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 brother. Brother. good meeting you, man. Y'all take, take care. care. Be safe. All the way down 15. Oh, shit. That board was gonna fall, he's cut it before it fell into the dude. He might have to go a few tunes. I put 14 and one, so just go 15. To get us some concrete to see how that was. Uh, oh, wow. Joey Stash? Yeah, I'm Joey Stash. Dude, she wants a picture, but she's nervous ass. No, of course. Yeah. No, I was like, don't look stupid. Yeah, That's yeah, how we staring. I was like, she's like, I know who that is. That's Joey Stash. I was like, well, she's like, I like, follow yes, him. I yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, yeah, that's Joey Stash. That's Joey Stash. <laughs> One more. One more. There we go. Hmm. Okay. Right. Thank you. It was nice to meet you. Thank you for doing that for her. Yeah, of course. No problem. Nice Thank you for coming out, Nelly. Thank you. <laughs> Look what came up on my memories right now, bro. This house right now that we're at. Yeah? Yeah, look. That's that deck right there. Yeah. See it? That you, you built it? Yeah. Like, or was that like the pressure washing stuff? Built it. I built all that. I built that whole thing from the ground up. All they had was stairs coming out of their back door. I remember that. And underneath, it's like a massive room where they kids play and they had their own little clubhouse. Now they're all grown up. It's been a customer of mine for like seven years, maybe longer. Lovely. Hey, we didn't need the battery today, huh? I brought it just in case. <laughs> throw all this shit in my truck. I'll throw all the, the, the four by fours in first. Damn, we forgot to bring that. We need to bring the Dodge tomorrow. Yeah, that's what I'm doing tomorrow. I knew you said that we need my. That, that, way, that way, whenever they're either framing and nailing, whatever, we can go to the dump. Yep. The quarry, I'll go with you. If you have the dodge. Tax is always going to tell you about your health. Just know that. Health is wealth, my friend. How young are you? 
22? Holy shit. My man, I was in prison. I got a kid almost your age. You learn this shit now, you'll be a fucking beast. Yeah, dude, 22, he's already got his own mortgage, bro. Yeah. Shit, yeah. I started when I was 16. That's right, though. My first job, I oh, when I was, I was 15. Was yeah, like, me too, bro. I was a dishwasher <laughs> at a bakery. It's a car job. I know is about how to fix your body. All right? If your feet are hurting, walk on rocks. Something I've always known. No one ever told me that. Something I've always known is you want your feet to get broke down, you know what I'm saying? You need to walk on rocks. Again, no one ever taught me that. I learned that on my own, but it's, it's helped me over the years. The eclipse is happening again. It's so dark. Did you know that uh, if you walk on rocks, it's good for your feet? Huh? Yeah, it breaks down all the feet. No one told me that. I, I figured that out on my own. My homie walked on water. What oh, hey. My homie. Jesus. My homie. Jesus. Jesus. One drip line. My man, that is not something that you could reuse. So basically you have interior wood. That's interior white wood for your for your outside fence on that new part that you have up. Oh yeah. That, so that's white wood. That's gonna be rotten in like a year. Maybe two. You know what I mean? Because once that sun and that, and that rain and the weathering gets on it, that's supposed to be inside your home, in between the drywall. It's called white wood. So basically that, that two by four cannot be used. Those pickets, maybe, but I mean, that's not gonna really do you any justice with just that one little front section with the pickets, you know what I mean? Yeah. And the rest of that fence is just old, man. That's old, treated. It's not, there's not really much you can do for that, man. If it was like a, you know, somewhat new fence, maybe, but like, yeah, so I'd at least start working on that right side, man. All those trees growing through it, uh, that's just causing more damage to your fence, and that's just a little bit of maintenance, you know what I mean? We might be able to put that section back up behind it, and I'm actually in your area, not too far from you, so okay. I could come out there and take a look, it'd probably be about 30 minutes to an hour. I don't know if you're gonna be there. Uh, I'd like it to be, you know, just the, the you know, the, the pickets, the six foot pickets, but you know, I know cedar is the way to go if you want longevity and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. Right now, you just don't wanna worry about doing that. I got you. Okay, well, let me just come out there, see what I can do to doctor it up. Hey, Gabe, do me a favor real quick. Take five on that hole and finish picking up all these uh, branches and shit right here. We're gonna, we're gonna cut the rest. <laughs> It's a free repair on a deck I did years ago. Yeah. You put something in there and close and hide Somebody it in there. Did that shit. That looks great. I don't even know how this passed inspection. And it sucks because you came from Florida, you said, so you got to see what, pictures? Yeah, just pictures and stuff like that. That's so. how they that's how they do people, man. I hate when they do that. Yeah, I mean. Whatever whatever we can do to save this man's fence right now, we're gonna get this gone. This doesn't even look like it's doing anything, to be honest with you. Oh yeah. Broken. broken post is what that is. Yeah. One four by four right here that's broken. We can replace this and reattach the section. It's gonna be fun, but this one's about to let me break. put this holder back. Yeah. 
Yeah. That fucking tree needs to go. There's both of them do, honestly. Huge hack bears, That's what I was telling him. Right here to your left look like this just a couple years ago. And they start off like this. You know what I mean? These are little vines, but they start off like little tiny little things that grow up. And then time goes by, people don't cut them. They grow up behind the fence or in between the fence. They say, you know, you're like, what the fuck? Where'd I get this big ass tree? Mm. Drill instructor, like screaming at people all day. Mm -hmm. yeah. Man, I should have done can't, that. Can't do much of that. Yeah, I, I went the other way. I got in trouble like a dumbass. Before I got in trouble, I tried to go to the military. I was like, please, I want to go to prison. I'll go to Iraq. It was in 2003. So I was trying to go really? to, you know, I was trying to go to the military as opposed to me making some bad choices at 17 years old as a youngster. You know, I was like, I'll go to war. I'll go to the military. Let me go. They're like, no, your charges are too bad. It was just drugs. I was, like I said, I was a kid. I, I tell people like, you know, when you grow up and you don't have positive influence, what yeah. you do, you think is positive. Yeah. And when I got busted, I'm like, oh yeah, that was illegal. But I knew what I was doing still. I knew it was illegal, right? So 10 years, man, 17 years old. Jeez. And yeah, it was it was rough, man. They tried to make an example. Is I, I actually out Bernie, Texas, mm -hmm. so it's a little bit outskirts. This was 2003, man. So yeah. we're talking. It was a small country town, and they were not playing. Life lessons, bro. Yep. It makes you who you are. You know what I mean? But I'd still For be sure. a badass soldier. <laughs> For sure. I'd be sure. a badass soldier. I'm a dedicated, disciplined, consistent motherfucker. <laughs> That's for sure. And I built that in prison. So I basically went to a boot camp, but you know. You just get killed by Americans. <laughs> you get killed by, you know, yeah. other people, other freaking crazy assholes. You got four places, Two. one reset. Yeah, four right. reset. I mean, one replace, one reset, four. Yeah. What's up with this one? It's another reset. Oh, no, that's replaced. No, that's broke, yeah. That's okay, good. that's a broken one. Anybody that uses this wood, you know, don't know anything what they're doing. I tell people, anybody who builds a treated fence does not care about quality or their customer at all. Because treated... This is what it does. E -e -e -e, all this warping and bowing, because Texas is so fucking hot. So you need a cedar picket, and you can use treated framing, but also we were just giving one of our guys an example today. If you buy a two by four that's what we call already taking its toll, already bowing, yeah. and you try to nail it up, what is it gonna do? It's, it's still gonna take its toll, yeah. and it's gonna, that's, that's what happened. What happened with it. That's what happened. We make sure we get wet two by fours, and we make sure that when we eye them, they're straight. So we'll be like, good, Bad, good, Home Depot and Lowe's, and then they hate us, bro. Because we're like, ugly, 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 ugly. Bring out a whole nother one. Ugly, ugly, ugly. I mean, because we don't give that kind of shit to our customers, you know what I mean? We'll go through it all day long. Uh, but yeah, same thing with the posts. You know, we want to make sure that we pick out good quality posts. So we got four, one, two, so that's four replace. Well, four, four replacements and, and then four. two resets. Or you got four. Is that four. one solid? Yeah, this one's solid. Solid. This one's gonna be reset. Yeah, that right. other one's reset at the very end. Yeah, so four and two. Four and two. Yeah, so what do you think about this right here? Are these screwed on? Let's go look. I mean, you're six foot, you can probably poke over the top. Six, six ass. <laughs> they look screwed. Well, there's a couple screws in here. So we can salvage this one, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll need to get about five or six one by fours just in case. Ten one by sixes. Four replacements. Five, yep. And then we got to bring a four by six, right? And then make him a wider gate. It needs to be wider. I don't know what the fuck's going on with this. Okay, bye bye then. Such a customer service. I've got the greatest customer service ever, motherfucker. <laughs> Joe cracking up. That was my Wes Watson moment right there. You start posting them, fucking losers. Yeah, for real. Fucking post, stupid Wait motherfuckers. Fuck up, stupid ass. Fucking post. Start charging more for your fucking plans that you can't sell. You're not charging a million a post? Fucking yeah, stupid. for real. How do you think I got the fucking used Rolls Royce I have? You don't, you don't post fake fucking deposits into your bank? How the fuck is people gonna believe you ain't making money, you stupid fuck? I made 12 million yesterday. Yes, 12 million. Sitting on my fucking ass. Right now, Talking look at him. shit. I made half of that. Oh, what are we gonna do down there? Are we gonna attach with a two by four or are we gonna put a post, bro? Two by four? On the fence? I did it the, vertically? They did it to us. Flat? I know, I just. That's our line anyway. That's our fence. Let's go. 
hold up a little bit better. Less erosion. You know what I mean? That shit was falling off the cliff. It held up for about five, six years, and that erosion just took over. Nah. Let's go. It's been a hot minute since we got done that scale. Mm -hmm. Hot minute, hot. Down that scale. It's a back day. We're gonna do a little bit of back, a little bit of biceps. Probably throw some back arms with the back. So look. Two ten for the tone. Dang, I feel like I'm always saying two ten, right? Well, really, it's like three pounds less because the shoes and the phone in the pocket. Oh. Fucking rep. That mind and muscle connection. Doesn't matter the weight. You control the weight. You control how heavy it is by how slow you go. Time under tension. Keeping that pump. Keeping that muscle engaged. It came off yet, baby. Just wait. <laughs> that rest did my body good. <laughs> so I don't be drinking no more for the milk. <laughs> it ain't the milk. Run. The pain, baby. No pain, no gain. Pull downs, fucking forms. The form. It's insane. Yeah. The forms are insane right now. Fucking rep right there. Like pump it, baby. Mind the muscle connection is crazy right now. Throw 
Chess is all lean as fuck, too. It's supposed to be uncomfortable, baby. Growth is supposed to be uncomfortable. You're not supposed to grow and be comfortable? How the fuck does that make sense? If everything was fucking easy, and everybody got to be comfortable when they were growing, then everybody would be successful, wouldn't they be? Wouldn't they? Supposed to be uncomfortable, baby. That's how you know it's working. Isolation. Concentration. Sorry. <laughs> I just thought about that. You better take off all your. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 I see you with a tripod and you're all dancing behind me. <laughs> This work, sweat, baby, tears, blood. Not all in that order, though. That was good. Exactly what I needed to be hydrated. Ah! Keep it down! My headphones, they ain't working that good. You can hear everybody else. Silence! While I get my pump. Bah! Man, I can't wait till my post is out. It's gonna be way better than that gross shit. Got it. Not bad, bro. Oh, got it. Four days, what, next month? Next month. Let's go. 40 years old. I thought it was 50. Yeah. Shit, I'd be better if I was 50. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, if I was 50, I'd be like, damn, you 50. Looking good, bro. Sure. Yeah, I see yeah. it. I feel like I'm 38. Some days I feel old, some days I feel young, bro. But. But you never want to argue with the body. All right, because you'll regret it. People say, Stacks, how do you do it? No excuses, no breaks mentality. You got no other fucking choice. It's like Nike, you just do it. You just do it. You know what I'm saying? No excuses, no breaks. Break your motherfucking ass off every fucking day. Work harder than everybody else. And it'll pay off. And I mean, this is the beautiful part. You ready for this? 
because I'm a walking, talking testament of it paying off, right? To tell the truth, guys, in the first year I didn't see nothing. Second year, third year, fourth year, fifth year, sixth year. Sixth year, I started to see like Joey Stax's brand come alive in seventh year, eighth year, ninth year, now 10 years, 11 years, going on 11 years, my brand's been around. So it doesn't happen overnight, guys. And let me tell you that whole fucking time, I was training for the whole first five, six years and no one even knew who Joey Stacks really was. You understand what I'm trying to say? It may not happen right away, guys, but it happens because there's no fucking recipe for hard work and getting nothing out of it. And now I just gotta keep working hard so it can continue to pay off. You know what I'm saying? I mean, guys, I'm dead. It's the end of my day with y'all, but it's not the end of the day for me. Or for Ricky, I'm sure he's got stuff he's gotta go do too. Mm -hmm. But as always guys, I appreciate the love and support. Like I was saying earlier in the video, go sign up, six week challenge. It's a six week boot camp. If you wanna get recognized, you wanna be part of the Stax Army, you want me to see you, you wanna stand out, join that six week boot camp. Let me see the results you get. I want before and afters. I want you guys, I'm gonna work with you side by side. I'm gonna be right there the whole way, guiding you guys talking to you guys each and every day so that way you guys can get the best results possible i just want to make better versions of yourself guys that's it you know what i'm saying just like i did for me i'm trying to do it for more people guys i appreciate all the love and support if you haven't yet stacksarmy.com baby copy some of that stacks army merch we're selling out i only got like smalls and three x's i think i got some larges in there in the real recognized real i got some xls in the real recognized real but uh, we're selling out we're rebranding Coming out with some new logos, some new tanks. Can't wait for you guys to see it. Make sure you go to stacksupplements.com and get you some of them stack subs, guys. Pre-order is on right now for the Cherry Slush. Drop is coming in two weeks. So you got two weeks to pre-order and lock in your subs right now at stacksupplements.com. Don't miss out, guys. The custom red box all hooked up you don't want to miss it guys i appreciate the love appreciate the support everybody copping the stacks army merch you ain't stacks army unless you rocking that stacks army merch let's go